What's up guys, welcome back to yet another review video. In this video, we'll review stable version of Oxygen OS for OnePlus Nord. I've been using this Oxygen OS stable version on my OnePlus Nord from past couple of days and it's quite stable. In this video, we'll talk about camera performance, battery backup and also performance part. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as you can see here, current version on my OnePlus Nord is Oxygen OS 11.0 which is the first stable build for OnePlus Nord. And a lot of users have been asking one question whether it's gonna wipe our data or not if you are upgrading to Android 11. So there are few things which you need to keep in mind. If you are running beta channel on your device which was Oxygen OS Open Beta 3 as of now latest beta for Nord. If you are running that and doing a local upgrade obviously downgrading from beta channel to stable channel will wipe your data. But for those who are running stable version of Oxygen OS which was 10.5.11 if you guys are doing local update then your data won't be wiped but before proceeding make sure to take a backup of your device for the safety purpose and to backup your device you can use this oneplus switch application which comes pre-installed on almost all the oneplus devices first let me show you the benchmark results what i have got on stable channel of oxygen os here single core have scored 595 and multi core have scored 1798. With Antutu benchmark application device scores 2,37,009. And these benchmarks are pretty low if we compare it with the stable version of Oxygen OS or with the third open beta based on Android 11. And after seeing these benchmarks, the performance have also gone down of the device that you'll get to know in the later part of the video. Along with that, I've also done a dedicated gaming test on OnePlus Nord after updating to Android 11 and that video is going to be uploaded on our gaming channel. So if you guys haven't subscribed to that, make sure to subscribe. Both the videos will be uploaded at the same time. And still most of the users are facing issues with this new canvas feature. But I've never faced such kind of issues with the canvas. For me, this feature have been working from the day it was released. But if you guys are still facing this issue, then there are two workarounds. One is either after updating a device to Android 11, you can perform a factory reset or else I'll provide the latest Canvas APK link in the description below. Just download that file and install it manually. Hopefully that should fix this issue on your device. Also, most of the users were expecting live wallpapers, I mean to say dynamic live wallpapers after this update, which basically we have it on other OnePlus devices like OnePlus 8. So dynamic live wallpapers haven't been added on this build and I'm not sure those live wallpapers gonna be added on OnePlus Nord or not. But you guys don't have to worry about it. I'll leave a video link in the description below. Just follow that video guide and you'll be able to install dynamic live wallpapers on your OnePlus Nord. And the best part is you don't require any kind of root access. It's a simple APK file, just manually install it and there we go. You'll have the live wallpapers on your OnePlus Nord. And trust me guys, I still feel that minor jitters while opening the recent panel. And this has been an issue from the long time. And which kind of feel still OnePlus needs to improve a lot when it comes to Android 11. The stable build of Oxygen OS 11 doesn't have the support of bubbles which was available on the beta channel which was beta 3. After even enabling all the settings, I personally wasn't able to enable bubble support. You guys let me know in the comment section below whether this feature is working on your device or not. And there's another issue related to notification delay which only OnePlus can fix. But there's a temporary fix by turning off the battery settings of that specific application. For that, head to battery settings, go to battery optimization and for example, if you're getting delayed messages from WhatsApp, select the application and select do not optimize. And there are chances if you change the settings of battery optimization, your battery backup might get affected. But it completely depends on you if you want to make the changes. And according to me, gallery application also requires slight optimization. If I open the application after a long time, I get to see all my images takes a bit to load. And this is the case with almost all the Oxygen OS 11 builds on any OnePlus device. These are minor issues which can be ignored in a daily usage. And we have also seen few users are still facing issues related to Widewind security level. On most OnePlus devices, with their recent update, Wildwind security level has been downgraded wherein security level is L3. But on my device, I don't have any kind of issues. For me, security level is L1. So I don't have any kind of issues playing HD content on applications like Netflix. I hope OnePlus comes up with a fix soon. And another issue what I've noticed on OnePlus Nord is related to 2.4 GHz band. So if I'm doing gaming on my device and using my headset at the same time, if I'm connected with 2.4 GHz band, then lots of time my Bluetooth gets disconnected automatically. But that's not the case if my device is connected to 5 GHz band. And this issue was also present on Beta 3. 
So guys, these were the few minor issues what I have personally noticed on my OnePlus Nord after updating the device to Android 11. Still, if you guys are facing any kind of issues, let me know in the comment section below. Now let's also talk about the camera performance. On our Android 11 video, most of the users were asking me about whether they have added the Nightscape videography function or portrait videography on OnePlus Nord or not. So let me clear that thing. OnePlus haven't added those features on OnePlus Nord. With related to video, we only get super steady mode. And camera also seems to be doing a good job. On previous builds, there were lots of issues related to exposure. But I think OnePlus have done few fixes related to that. Here are some pictures clicked after the update. Auto white balancing is also optimized well. But there are slight edge detection issues when it comes to pictures clicked in portrait mode with front camera. Which you can see here in these images. So with related to camera, I think OnePlus slightly needs to improve camera functionalities. Now let's also talk about the battery backup. So personally I don't have any kind of complaints related to battery backup. I've been getting in between 4 hours to 5 and a half hours of screen on time. And this might vary for every individual. Here you can take a look, with first cycle I got 5 hours and 10 minutes of screen on time. With second cycle I got 4 hours and 15 minutes of screen on time with normal usage and few minutes of gaming. And overnight battery drain is also not much. In 9 hours I only got to see 6% of battery drain. So that seems to be decent. So I'm happy with the battery backup what I've been getting and I wasn't even expecting much. Also few users were complaining that warp charging is not working after this update but there are no issues guys. As you can see here I don't have any kind of issues. My device hardly takes one hour to completely charge. And at last let's also talk about the performance part. And here I have slight issues when it comes to gaming. My device have been using around 4GB of RAM usage out of 6GB which kind of feels slightly higher than the beta builds. And now here when it comes to gaming I'm not at all happy with the performance of the device. I've also done a gaming test. That video can be found in the description below. As you all know that we can run 60 FPS on our OnePlus Nord. So I tried gaming with 60 FPS. And I won't recommend you guys to use the higher graphics settings as of now. Because there were lots of frame drops to be seen. And here is a gameplay where you'll get to know about the frame drops. And this normally happens whenever there are multiple teams involved in fight or multiple teams landing at particular place. So guys this was complete review of OnePlus Nord running Android 11 stable build which is Oxygen OS 11. There are no major bugs available. Yes this build can be easily used as daily driver but the only issue what I found out was related to gaming. Though you can still play games like PUBG but in lower graphic settings. I mean to say with 40 FPS because device wasn't able to handle 60 FPS with this latest build. So guys as of now only this much in this video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.